Hi, and welcome to HUDKing.com, your place to see real virtual tours on HUD homes in and around San Antonio and the South Texas area. If you're watching this video on HUDKing.com, click on the T to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or click on the YouTube link to be taken to our YouTube page. When you're at our YouTube page, if you click the subscribe button, you'll be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here at 116 Firebird Run. That's 116 Firebird Run over in Cibolo, Texas. And this is a very beautiful home, relatively new, that sits in the Falcon Ridge subdivision. Pretty new community out here in Cibolo. Cibolo is over off of 35 going towards Austin, just northeast of San Antonio. And this is a big, beautiful four bedroom, two and a half bath home, approximately 2760 square feet. And it was built in 2006. Exterior of this home is a combination of brick and hardy plank siding. And it sits on about a 7,200 square foot lot. As I said, this neighborhood is relatively new. Real pride of ownership out here. And exterior wise, this home is in really good condition. You have a nice little front porch here. Some minor landscaping. Let's take a look at the backyard and then we'll look at the inside. Well, we step into the backyard through a door off of the dining room and you do have a nice covered patio back here. There's also a small additional slab on this side. I guess you can do your sun tanning out here. Now as you can see, there's a big commercial lot behind the home, so you don't have any neighbors directly back there, which is nice. A little extra privacy. Give you a rear view of the home. So you have brick on the lower three sides and hardy plank on the top and back. As I said, exterior-wise in great condition, really doesn't need anything on the exterior. Let's take a look at the inside. Well, as we step into the home, we do have ceramic tile on the entryway. I always say that that's a great thing to have because then it prevents, uh, if you do have carpet, it does prevent mud and dirt from getting on the carpet. So immediately to the left here, we have a formal dining room. Formal dining room will need some new carpeting. And if we look up here at this corner, it looks like they probably had a little dog because a little bit of the wood trim is damaged. Very easy fix. Put a coat of paint in here, a little bit of carpeting. Now you do have access to get into the kitchen through the formal dining, but we're gonna continue straight forward. To the right here we have a small coat closet and then we have a staircase that takes you up to the bedroom. Now all four bedrooms will be upstairs. We then have your big open living room. Huge open room, it's going to need a fresh coat of paint and some flooring, whether you put carpet or tile or whatever in here. We have your dining area here. There's the door that takes you out to the backyard. And then we have your kitchen. Now tons of countertop space, tons of cabinet space, a really nice open kitchen. You have a pantry there. It does have an electric range. It is obviously missing the refrigerator. And it looks like the top of the door here for the pantry is damaged. Uh, very, very easy fix, but you have a door with your large walk-in pantry area here for your refrigerator. You do have ceramic tile in the kitchen. And other than that, kitchen's in great shape. I think all it really needs downstairs is a fresh coat of paint and some flooring in the living room areas. Now we come over to the hallway here. We do have a half bathroom, which is obviously just a commode and a vanity. That room just needs a fresh coat of paint. And then we have access into your garage. Standard two car garage. Does have a water softening unit. It has been finished out, which is nice. Now, for those of you that may not know, finished out means that they put sheetrock up on the walls. And some of the older homes, they just have the, uh, the beams. So we make our way upstairs. A little bit of wall damage, pretty minor, I think. Fresh coat of paint will probably take care of that. And you're probably going to want to replace the carpeting throughout. Now, as we get upstairs, to the left here, we have a very large upstairs second living area. Playroom, if you like. Come around the corner here. And we have bedroom number one or your master bedroom. This bedroom is above the garage. And this is a very, very big room, very large master bedroom. You have your walk-in closet here. Now there is evidence of their little dog giving a little bit of damage there on the wall, some scrapes, but that's pretty easily fixed. Sheetrock is very easy to replace or fix. Windows giving you some natural lighting. We have your master bath over here. Master bath does have dual vanities, which is a nice perk. Second upgrade is this separate shower and huge jacuzzi tub. It does have jets, so obviously it's jacuzzi jet tub. And then we have a secondary walk-in closet here. This one being a little bit larger. Ceramic tile on the floor in the bathroom, always a good thing. I'm not a big fan of carpet in the bathroom floor because when it gets out, when you get out 
and your feet are wet, it sometimes will cause uh, a mildew or mold smell. Now there's an internal vacuum system here, which is kind of neat. Now you can plug in some hoses and then you don't have to drag a vacuum cleaner up and around. Uh, one thing I just noticed is on the corner here, you can see there's also a little more damage, I guess, from the little dog. They probably had a little puppy that would chew on the corners. So some minor trim work, but that's pretty easy to fix. Now if we come to the right of the staircase after you get up here, we have bedroom number two. This bedroom, good size bedroom. It's going to need a fresh coat of paint. This blue is not very fashionable. And it's going to need some flooring, but it's a good size bedroom, very large. Around the corner over here, we have bedroom number three the green bedroom. Another good size bedroom. This bedroom will need a fresh coat of paint and it will need some flooring. We have bedroom number four next to that. Bedroom number four is going to need a fresh coat of paint and it will need some carpeting or flooring, whether you want to put tile or whatever. And then we have full bathroom number two. Full bathroom number two has a tack down linoleum floor. But the good thing is it does have dual vanities and a shower and tub combo. Pretty standard shower and tub combo. Uh, a nice dual vanity, That's a, it's a nice upgrade, so you'll need a fresh coat of paint in here. I think the linoleum floor can stay, unless you're not crazy about it, then you could change that. And then we have your washer and dryer connections, which are upstairs, so laundry connections upstairs, which is a nice upgrade. Don't have to go downstairs and go to the garage to do that. That's about it. Home needs a fresh coat of paint, a little bit of uh, trim work, and some flooring, whether it be carpeting or painting. Let me give you a summary. Well, there you have it, 116 Firebird Run. That's 116 Firebird Run, a very nice and big four bedroom, two and a half bath home, over 2,700 square feet. This big and beautiful, almost move-in ready home is listed right now for only $228,000. So if you're interested in this home and you don't have a realtor, I would love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan, I am the HUD King, and I wanna help you find your castle.